Despite calls for delaying classes, Education Secretary Leonor Briones reiterates on Wednesday night, July 15, classes will open on August 24. Hindi kami nagbabago sa aming stand, Mr. President, na maximum August 24 talaga kasi yung sa batas, last day of August. Last day of August is on a weekend. So, uh, August 24, magbubukas na ng klase, whatever form it is. Briones cites the quote-unquote very successful simulation of distance learning in Navota City. Briones also suggests face-to-face -face classes in low-risk areas. Health Secretary Francisco Duque III supports this, citing the longer case doubling time in areas under MGCQ and the low utilization rate of healthcare systems in those areas. But Duterte has yet to decide on the matter. Meantime, Commission on Higher Education Chairman Prospero Oliver III suggests rescheduling subjects that require the physical presence of students to the second semester. Tuutusan natin yung mga universities na lahat ng subjects na may lab, OJT, internship, etc. i-reschedule nila sa second semester. So sa first sem, ang ituturo lang lahat ng mga klase na regular na pwedeng uh, lectures theoretical do sa first sem, imumove natin sa second semester yung kailangang pupunta. He raises flexible learning for higher education institutions which involves a combination of digital and non-digital technology. Experts from the University of the Philippines earlier warned transmission of COVID-19 may increase should face-to-face -face classes open in Metro Manila schools in August and September.